You know, I gotta be honest, I don't know which angle this car I like best. This is the all new 2018 Camry XSE. You got the pearl white paint on the bottom. You got the black top. This is the V6 car with the 3.5 running Toyota's new direct fuel injection with eight, count them, eight forward gears, direct shift transmission, floppy paddle shifters on the steering wheel, and they're actually quick. This is such a great car. I love this thing. Look at those 19 inch wheels. They look fantastic. What is this? What's well, an all new 2018 Camry XSC with the V6 motor? There's a couple different colors you can get uh, in the two tone. Uh, white on the bottom, black on top. But check this out. I can't even structure this walk around. It's just incredible. The whole roof, it's panoramic glass roof. The forward panel opens up, the back panel is stationary. Radio antenna on the top, it's got the shark fins. Thing is amazing. You know, for years I've sold Toyota, and every time they launch the Camry, like, yeah, 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 new Camry, it's cool, it's great, super cool, it's the best Camry ever. Jeez, this has got to be the best Camry ever. You know, the XSC has always been the sport model, and what they did so well with this car is they sported that suspension up well, but they didn't overdo it. So the car's got great turn in. It feels really good on an exit ramp if you go fast. Um, but when you drive it down the road, it's not rough. So as you hit all the bumps, and I'm in Wisconsin, and if you don't know, snow absolutely destroys our roads. But if you drive this car in Wisconsin and you hit all these bumps, it doesn't beat the pants off of you. And you don't hear that terrible suspension noise, ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. Uh, the car is really, really, really well done. I'll walk you up the sticker as we walk around the outside of this car. I'm going to point out some of these really cool features now. For 18, we got safety sense, and we got all these new, really cool features. So, he's got 26 miles per gallon overall, 20, 22 in town, 32 on the highway. That's running with a 3.5 liter V6 and 300 horsepower, count them. It's pretty cool. Now, we set this car up with the driver assist package. You got this crazy bird's eye view camera that gives you all these really cool spins like you press a button and it's though the camera spun around the car. I'll show that to you in the next video. Um, it's got the navigation packet. Well, nav is actually standard. We moved this up to the um, premium nav. And it's got the nine speaker JBL stereo and they threw a subwoofer in the back window. Uh, it's pretty cool. The two-tone paint costs you about uh, just short of 900 bucks total. The pearl paint is rubbed by elves, I think, and it's actually a beautiful pearl. Uh, and then the black top. 395 for the pearl paint, 550 to paint the top of it a different color. Uh, look at those 19s though, that is what's up. The detail on this car is wonderful. You know, I sort of look at this car like the Toyota Crown, uh, because I, I mean, if I look at the 2018 Toyota Crown, this car looks a lot like it. Um, but anyway, uh, it's the Camry. So they've got sonar sensors painted all around the body. Look at that black spoiler, can't even stay on task here. So you got those sensors back there, um, they've also got a rear, a system that we use at Toyota, it's called the Rear Cross Traffic Alert. So when you're backing up, it detects the presence of me standing behind the car, not just directly behind it, but to the side. So cross traffic is looking for traffic to cross your path here. The car alerts you to bicyclists, pedestrians, or cars. But the sonar sensors give you an all, sort of a, a better all around perspective or situational awareness of what's around the car. So you've got another sensor up there up front. But check this out. You've also got a forward camera here. And then you've got this glass because there's a millimeter radar antenna back there. And that radar antenna is what's responsible to actually stop the car if a car ahead of you stops you're using radar crews. Uh, radar crews are adaptive crews, so it will, it will actually uh, keep the distance between you and the car ahead of you as you go down the highway. Uh, so cameras, radar antenna to stop it, to use the adaptive cruise control. Uh, obviously, this car has blind spot monitoring. It obviously modulates the, the, the high beams on and off automatically. And speaking of high beams, and that beautiful trim, but back to the high beams, LED running lights and LED headlights. Toda, they actually launched LED headlights on Corolla a couple years ago, and we are like, man, that's amazing. And RAV4 and RAV4 Hybrid have them as well. But golly, when you finally drive behind LED headlights, meaning you're driving with your car, it's so wonderful. They're not so bright and terrible that you're blinding people but how well you can see at night, it's, it's, it's incredible. 
So you got the Zamboni going in the background. Pardon that. Um, but I just had to show this car off. Beautiful. Come up to this mirror. This is new. We set that mirror off the door, which is different. Uh, different way for Toyota to do it. Uh, we've got that the camera under here. Again, this is all about the bird's eye view camera. The camera up front, the camera underneath this mirror. It's all bird's eye view. Beautiful black painted mirror. The car is absolutely a knockout. Am I see under the hood? Yeah, why not? Man, this thing is good looking though. I'm just blown away. Wait till you see the interior of this car. Uh, but before I get there, let's have one more quick look. Oh! Every time I walk around this car, I see another feature. I just want to point out, it's uh, maybe a little difficult, but that rear spoiler is black. It's got four exhaust pipes. Camera hanging off the back, and again, that black spoiler. But let's get under the hood, get you a sneak peek of this epic race red interior. And I will say this. Uh, the camera, as I open it up, the camera is making that red a smidge brighter than it is. I actually like it better on the camera. In person, we're just a smidge uh, subdued compared to what we see here. Look at this. Look at the detail in the seats. It's black details. There's a silver stripe up the middle of the seat. It's just so well done. What do you see all these gadgets and gizmos in this car and just the attention to detail inside it'll impress you. Let's take a look here under the hood. So again, they're using a 3.5 liter V6 D4S. You know, you look under the hood today, you don't see a whole lot. Everything is covered up. But the thing is, again, with Toyota, as you look close, everything is so well done. Everything lines up. There's alignment marks where they put the hoses together to make sure that everything lined up properly. So at a glance, as the car comes to the factory, to maintain Toyota quality, you can see it, you know it. D4S on top of that motor is Toyota's direct fuel injection system. It's actually both direct and port. Toyota believes that direct fuel injection is best for low to mid-range RPMs in terms of torque and fuel economy. And if you're going to stand on the throttle wide open, they believe that port fuel injection is the best way to make power on the higher RPM range. So D4S, developed by Toyota, got a bunch of cars now. It's been a great system. Beautiful car. All right. Can't wait to show the interior. See ya on the next round.